Right then guys, welcome back to the channel and to another episode on Project T5. So, if you've been following um, the channel for a while, you've seen that we've had a bit of a problem um, with the coolant system pressurising. Um, tried everything under the sun to change it and to sort the problem out and we changed a lot of things. Nothing solved it. Um, so, last resort was to take the head off. So, head's been off um, and thankfully, or not, it had blown. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this in any other video. When I took it off, I couldn't see anything wrong. Took it to be um, sorted at Ward's Engineering, which was the last video, um, and he confirmed what a few guys in the comments had said, uh, which was that it head gasket had gone between um, cylinder two and the water jacket. Head's been off, done, all sorted, and now I've just been picked it up this morning. So, here is the new remachined head. So the head has been skimmed. I'm not quite sure how much he's taken off. Um, the valve seats have been um, remachined. The valves themselves have all been remachined as well to go in. Um, it's all been cleaned, decoked, and cleaned up and put back together. So that's that side. And then the other top looking nice, ready to go back in. So I'm going to pick that up this morning and I've been having a bit of a clean up. So there's the block that I've had a bit of a clean up on. Um, and it's it feels flat it looks flat i've got as much of this the um old gasket and dirt and everything off as i can so i've gone over it all with um, a scraper um just to get anything off that was sort of above and then i've gone over the whole thing with some gt85 and scotch pad um lightly just to try and get any dirt off we're not trying to cut any of the metal back or do anything to the metal we're just purely trying to get as much of the old gasket off as we can um, it's flat nice and sorted um, these do come out to make it easier which trusty pliers they just squeeze together and come out so that you don't go banging your hand into them or anything and then they just push back in to place to locate the head gasket and the head so I need to clean some of these bits of crap out uh, I need to blow um, the head bolt holes out as well so there's no no dirt in them um and then i think the next thing's going to be bang the gasket on and we'll put the head back on and get it torqued down now the head gasket is been supplied by wards engineering um, because whatever you take off when you skim them you have to then put back on with the gasket so he supplied me with a gasket and apparently everything he supplied me is a pretty decent spec um, and then on here the sheet that's come that gives you the um, sequence to torque the bolts in and it gives you the how tight they should be as well I think now I'm going to double check that with the Haynes manual so I've just checked this one says uh, 40 newton meters 60 newton meters 1990 so it's a four stage and then in the Haynes manual cylinder head bolts 35 60 1990 so that was five more than that so yeah we're about in the right place so I know what I'm doing with that now let's get uh what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the crank to get the pistons so that they're all halfway up because at the minute that one's up and they're down right so that's me cleaned the block up i've blown um all the where the head bolts go into out with a rag uh, over the top with an, and an airline in um because you don't want anything in there because if there's there was a lot of oil in them from when i'd removed the head and if you put the head bolt in and start doing them up it's going to get um sort of like hydraulically locked and it could crack the block and all sorts um and you won't get the right um pressure or torque settings on the bolt so make sure you clean the threads out before you put them back on manifold i've cleaned or the the turbo and the exhaust manifold i've cleaned these faces up and dropped that in there because you can't get it in when the head's on so that's in place um and now i think it's just time to drop the head on so i've got the new head gasket just hither which is very nice um can only go on one way and the writing wants to be up so i've double checked triple checked and cleaned all this face off but i'm gonna do it again so this face is definitely clean so 
cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it. Just blown the whole lot off, so now it's clean. Head gasket comes in and goes into those locating pins, like that. So that is in the right place. Just check everything lines through that should to know that you've got it on the right way, but this goes to the front with the writing up. But everything lines up, which is nice. So, I think it's time to drop the head on. Right, head's on, bolts are in. Now what I did with the bolts, clean them off with some um, car cleaner and rag, um, and I've then um, covered them in oil. Now, I've not got any um, sort of assembly oil, so I've just used uh, some brand new fresh engine oil. Um, wiped it in the threads, not too much because you don't want to go hydraulically locking anything um, but yeah, on the threads and on the heads so that they can slip and you're going to get the right reading or the right torque setting um, bit of papers on here with where I've got to go bits in here and torque wrench is set so what we'll first do, we'll just do these down finger tight first Ten. So. They're all down to that point. Let's go back to number one. Make sure it's in the head. Torque wrench on. And one. So that's then done. Then up to 60 newton meters. Start again, one. One. So as I was so focused on talking the head down and getting it done in the right order and in the right way, I didn't notice that the camera had stopped recording, so I only got a bit of footage of me talking the head down. So that's the head box all um, talked up. Um, 40 newton meters, 60 newton meters, then um, 90 degrees, in the pattern and then 90 degrees in the pattern um, so that the head is now all torqued down I've put the uh, the cam was in um, TDC all sort of timed up um, on the bench left as it was the um, pistons I put halfway down so I've just put that back into the correct place making sure that I didn't hit the valves with the pistons so that should now be in the right place um, I just screwed on coolant junction I've just um, put on um, in their finger tight um, I've just put the exhaust gaskets on. Now, the exhaust gaskets are individual ones, and you've got to put them on and make sure they're the right way so that they're not going to block um, exhaust gases. So they only go on one way. So put them on, feel around, and make sure the gasket's slightly bigger um, than the opening in the head. So just make sure you can feel on all four that it's the right way around, and then we will. The exhaust manifold up. Says. Put it in the wrong place, which is great because the head's already on, so I can't move it. Like that. Like that. Like that. And bolts for the exhaust manifold you've got washer that goes on first and then the nut. So it's washer on first, and then the nut. Do this all finger tight for now. Now, and drop that in the engine. My aim is to try and get everything back onto a point of where I was doing the cam belt, and then I can put the cam belt back on. Good morning. Welcome back to another day. Um, so it's Thursday. Thursday. Um, got the head back on Tuesday. Um, brought it back and made a start putting it on um, ran out of time so uh, packed everything away uh, went in had dinner and sorted everything out and then woke up yesterday morning in a very bad mood and decided that attempting to put this back together in a bad mood probably wasn't the best of ideas so I knocked that on the head yesterday um, and yeah it's now Thursday so we really I can't put it off let's just get it back together so where did we get to so head was on um, I've got all the exhaust manifold um, all in place all the bolts are in and um, all of this on this end all the bolts are in as well only loosely done up um, and then I've gone around and just 
put all of the bolts back into everything so I know where everything goes I know that I've got all the bolts and I can hopefully get it all back together pretty quickly um, next step is going to be to um, I'm going to do all the exhaust and everything up now I think get all the bolts done up and nice and tight and know that they're done then we'll jack the van up put it on outside stands um, support the engine to take the um, engine mount off um, and then we'll get the cam belt back on now everything is timed up the cam the cam's timed up and it's got the locking tool in and I'm not sure if you'll see it but down there the locking tool is in for the crank pulley as well so everything's in the correct place where it needs to be so take all the pins and everything out turn everything over a couple of times bound to make sure nothing touches and then continue just getting it all back together really um, so I suppose I better just get on with it really here we go Right guys, most of the engine is now back together. Um, I have realized though, I'm gonna have to take the coolant tank out again for a very good reason, because I've not put the fan back in. So I've taken the fan out because the fan wasn't working. So I've got a new fan here um, and to change it, it's gonna be undo these three torque screws, fan will come out, new fan will go in and bolt in. Um, and then we can slide that back in. Um, so. I am, unfortunately, going to have to take this back out that I've just put in. Wonderful.
right. Pop the fan switch back in the bottom of the radiator. It's home. Plugged in, everything's in, everything's on. Right then, that is everything back together. I've got no bits left, no nuts or bolts left, which is a good sign. Um, engine's been turned over by hand a few times, like I say, to make sure nothing hits. Sump bung's been done back up. Everything is on, belts are on, everything that should be on is on. Thermostat, uh, the fan switch is back in the red where we drained it. So now it's going to be fill it back up with fluids and then we'll see if it runs. Sometimes it takes five minutes to sort it out, sometimes it takes half an hour. So, so there's nothing really to worry about. Uh, just keep an eye on everything and make sure it's alright. But we've got no steam coming out of the cooler, which is a good sign. It was doing it instantly last time. And I mean it seems it looks alright to me. It looks good. Happy so far. Happy. Nothing falling out the bottom of it, which is nice. So we have to now run it and see if it comes up to temperature. See if the new fan kicks in. But yeah, happy, happy, happy so far. Let's tell you what, let's put this track on and see if it drops. It shouldn't drop, it should stay where it is. Moved yet. Leave it for a couple more seconds, then we'll take it off. See if there's any pressure release, which there shouldn't be. Look at that. Right. Let's let it get to temperature. Right then. That's the van been running for 20 odd minutes, up to temperature for a while as well. Um, Coolant cap's on uh, and there's no, it's not dropping at all. When the cap's off, there's no um, smoke or steam or anything coming out of it, which is also a good sign. Um, heater wasn't blowing hot, but it's now blowing hot, so that must have been an airlock. Um, so yeah, that they're blowing nice and hot now. Um, although we have been at temperature for quite a while, and the bottom radiator hose is still quite cold. It's warming up, is it warming? It's warming, it's not hot. Um, and the fan's not kicked in, so... I leave it running for a bit longer. I don't want to run it too much, you know. Cook it if something would not work. Um, the radiator's warm. 
Yeah, half both sides, top and Ah, that bottom corner's cold. That bottom corner's cold. It's a brand new radiator as well. So the bottom of the radiator is cold. How about radiator stove? It's starting to get hot now, so. I'll leave it for in a bit longer, see if that works. So, that is that back together. Um, it runs, which is a bonus. Um, it sounds a hell of a lot better than it did, and I have to say, it's probably one of the nicest sounding 1.9s that I've been around. Um, there's not really a lot of tap, well, there's no tapping from the head. Normally the, the heads are quite a tappy, tappy noise, but it sounds mega, sounds really nice. Richard's done a real good job rebuilding the head, so thank you to Richard. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, go back and watch the last episode of um, having the head all sorted out. Um, super helpful company, I would definitely recommend them. Um, I've obviously got it all back together and everything, um, and it runs, it does what it's supposed to do. The heat is now blowing hot, which they weren't for a bit, um, but I sat at 2,500 revs for a minute, and then they started blowing warm, so there was obviously a bit of an airlock there. Um, Problem I've got with it still. Bottom radiator hose is still, it's warm, but it's not warm enough. And the fan that's brand new, which I have tested and put 12 volt across and works, isn't kicking in. Now the reason for that is probably because um, the pipe, the bottom hose comes out of the block into the stack, along the bottom hose and into the bottom of the radiator. And where it comes into the radiator, just above it is where the stat is. So, and that bottom corner of the radiator does feel quite cold. So. The stat might not be working. I think I'm going to have to take the stat out and try and run it without the stat and see if that works. Which is going to mean dropping the cooling again. Um, but it works now. It seems all right. Um, I've had it running for probably half hour, 40 minutes. So the fan should have kicked in and that pipe should have um, done its thing. So I'm going to have to take the stat out, which I don't want to do. But yeah, that's going to have to happen. But all in all, I think even with that problem, very positive episode for a few days. Um, I'm glad to have that done because it was annoying me. I never bought this thinking, oh, I'm gonna take the head off and I'll rub the head rebuilt and chuck it on. Um, but it's done, it's nice, it runs nice. Um, so I'm happy that bit's done. Um, on to sorting the bits out that still left to sort out before we can get it up for sale. But that one, I think, will leave there. Thank you ever, ever so much for watching. Um, I do really appreciate it. Um, it's still growing day on day, which is nice. Of me, just in a stables, talking to a camera and trying to fix this thing. But thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Do uh, like, subscribe, um, and drop me a comment as well um, with any feedback, really. Things that you think I could do. If you like what the channel's all about and what we've been doing, click here for a link to episode one or the beginning of the series of this transformation. And click here to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Until next time, enjoy.